Greetings everyone and today we are going to discuss about the hybridization of ethane, ethene and water. First let us discuss ethane. Ethane is basically having its hybridization such a manner that here the central atom is carbon and central atom carbon is basically having its uh, four hybridization orbitals. Here um, it is having um, four hybridized orbitals. Uh, not hybridized but they are, it is having four orbitals which is S, Px, Py, Pz. In that case Py and Pz are pi orbitals, pi electrons containing pi orbitals. In that case, uh, as they contain pi electrons, they are having high energy. We know that pi electron, pi orbitals, pi bond is always having high energy. Pi electrons are having high energy. Sigma electrons are having less energy. Pi electrons are having high energy due to which there is less overlapping. As there is less overlapping in pi electrons, there is no formation of hybridized uh, orbitals. Hi no hybridization occurs in pi electrons because of high energy due to less overlapping. Due to which there is no mixing, there is no hybridization. That, that is also the reason uh, hybridization always occurs in sigma electron and hybridization uh, always causes to form a sigma bond rather than a pi bond. In this case, uh, P, Y, P, Z are the pi, or pi electrons and uh, P, X and Z, S are the sigma electrons. So uh, the hybridization uh, will cause to form two electrons. These two electrons are there, so they will cause to form two uh, uh, orbitals to be combined together due to which it will form sp hybrid orbital. Two sp hybrid orbital will be there, as you can see. Uh, so as there are two sp hybrid orbitals, two sp hybrid orbitals, there will be a linear structure. 180 degree angle will be there, as the linear structure will be there, as you can see in the diagram. The linear structure will be set in such a manner that here we have sp sp connects with s orbital of hydrogen sp hybrid orbital and here same goes with here sp hybrid orbital connects with s orbital of hydrogen on the other hand side the sp hybrid orbital of carbon connects with sp hybrid orbital of carbon now in this case this is a bond formation on the other hand side we are having the py and pz hybrid orbitals py and pz hybrid orbitals will be present on the or will be present perpendicular to each other first and foremost and secondly they will be perpendicular to the plane on which the hybrid orbitals are formed. So as these are perpendicular, they will not be become visible to us. They are on the another plane. Hybrid orbitals are on one plane, and P y and P z pi orbitals, which are atomic orbitals, are on another plane. So these uh, having the same plane, P y of this carbon, P y of this carbon will form a single bond, which is known as the pi bond. That will be having high energy, but that would be a weaker bond because there will be less overlapping. On the other hand side, there will be the sigma bond formation between hybridized orbitals. Now here, in this case, we are having uh, uh, one hybrid uh, P y and P z bond. P y and P z bond are on uh, are beneath, are uh, behind the sp sp hybrid orbital bond. So we can't you know see that. So this is why we imaginarily we draw some dotted orbitals. We draw dotted orbitals, which indicates that there are p pi orbitals behind it. P pi hybrid orbitals which are behind it. In this case, this is how we draw the structure. So here there is one pi bond, there is another pi bond, both are weaker bond having high energy. The rest. When it comes to a question that here, how many electrons are involved in hybridized orbitals? There are two electrons involved over here. Because there are two hybridized orbitals, there are two electrons involved. And how here the bonding which is strong between SP SP is stronger than SP SY because SP SP hybridized orbital bonding. Is having two hybrid orbitals of the same energy due to which overlapping is more as well as these are of same shape overlapping is more which means stronger bond is there between carbon to carbon so on the other hand side when it comes to hydrogen hydrogen apart from which uh, SPSP bond is stronger because both have the same energy seeing in uh, or by shape so Overlapping is more, less, uh, more energy, less energy, more stronger. SPS bond is ha S is having different orbital shape, different energy due to which the bond will be having uh, a weaker bond. This is how the structure is formed. And here, uh, one more thing that here, carbon to carbon there is triple bond. One is sigma, two are pi. Here, in ethene, ethene is having a similar structure except the fact that here we are having a trigonal structure. Here. We are having the sp2 orbitals. Here we are having uh, ethene is having basically oops, uh, ethene is having uh, sp2 uh, orbitals because it is having uh, three hybridized orbital sp2 hybridized orbital three hybridized orbital one hybridized orbital over here one hybridized over here one hybridized over here. 
टीम के थे वन एडवर्टाइज है वन एडवर्टाइज है एसपीएस एडवर्टाइज बॉन्ड एसपीएस बॉन्डिंग एसपीएस बॉन्डिंग एंड एसपीएस एसपी2एस बॉन्डिंग एसपी2एस एंड एसपी2एस बॉन्डिंग कार्बन टू कार्बन बॉन्डिंग इज एसपी2 एसपी2 बॉन्डिंग दिस इज एसपी2 एसपी2 बॉन्डिंग व्हिच इज अ सिग्मा बॉन्ड द टेट्राहाइड कार्बन टू हाइड्रोजन इज अ एसपी2एस बॉन्डिंग एसपी2एस बॉन्डिंग एसपी2एस bonding and this is sp2 sp2 bonding in that case uh, this bonding is stronger why because both are in same energy size they do less energy overlapping is more and there is uh, stronger bond they uh, vice versa there is uh, less energy uh, you know because uh, they are having opposite uh, they are having uh, different energies having different shapes so when they overlap they are very big bond apart from which when we are having another case over here is here uh there are three are the hybrid orbitals and one is the phi uh, phi electron orbital which one is phi electron which is which it is having high energy and that will form an individual bond with the phi like phi orbital of the other end uh, it forms an individual bond with the phi orbital of the other carbon atom so it forms an uh, individual bond with uh, another carbon atom a pi bond so this bond will be a pi bond so we can say that one of the bond is sigma bond sp2 sp2 sigma bond and one is as a pi bond which is formed with carbon to carbon so there are two carbon to carbon bonds the double bond and rest there is sp2 s bond uh, which is a weaker bond and uh, here uh, one more thing that here carbon to hydrogen bond Uh, is having uh, carbon to hydrogen bond or sp2 s bond is having the an angle which is trigonal angle which is having its angle as 120 degree while the carbon to carbon sp2 sp2 bond is having a linear structure is having a linear geometry 180 degree having a linear structure now water water is having such a condition it is having six electrons two are lone pairs two are unpaired electrons and they combine together with the s Uh, orbital of the hydrogen they form such a structure that uh, the lone pairs do not participate and s orbital uh, participate and rest as we know there there are three four uh, orbitals these are four hybridized orbitals sp3 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 now uh, two are lone pair two are unpaired electrons which participate to form bond pair now in this case there is an exceptional condition that we know that lone pair lone pair repulsion is greater than bond pair lone pair repulsion due to which when lone pair lone pair repel each other uh, first of all they repel each other because their electrons are not bonded with any other atom due to which they uh, are having more gap in between them due to which there is more repulsive force more energy due to which they repel each other so lone pair lone pair repel each other due to which as lone pair lone pair repel each other that causes to exert a pressure that causes to exert a pressure over the bond pairs over the bond pairs as it causes to exert a pressure over the bond pairs that causes to uh angularize the it causes to angularize the two bond pairs it causes to angularize the two bond pairs what is the angular angularization of the two bond pair it causes the angularization of the two bond pairs as it causes the angularization of the two bond pairs the bond pair becomes shortened it becomes bended and the bond angle between the sp3 s bond or the oxygen to hydrogen bond becomes from 109.5 to 104.5 why because the lone pair causes to exert a uh, lone pair repulsion causes to exert pressure over the bond pair due to which uh, the angle decreases from 109.5 to 104.5 109 to 104.5 now in this case this is a condition and here apart from this um, One hundred nine point five, a decrease is from one hundred four point five, which is due to the repulsion of bond pair on pair. And rest, uh, this is a structure, and of course this is a tetrahedral structure because there are four hybridized bond pairs. If there one, if there is one lone pair, then there is less uh, bending. It is then angle becomes one hundred seven. If there is no lone pair, then this is a tetrahedral structure which is having one hundred nine point five.